Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandadeep Eye Hospital, PG Teaching Institute and Peko SICS Training Center, Sangli, Maharashtra. In our center, we have a lot of teaching activities, teaching tools and some training as well. Hello friends, uh, in this video, I am going to do a surgery on Constellation FACO system and there is some suspense. I want you to guess what happened in those missing 5 minutes of the video. Let's begin. This is a soft cat track you can see and uh, I have already made the incisions and using the Haldipurkar capsorexis forceps. I always use uh, dispersive agent Hylucote for my capsorexis and uh, want to make a good 5 millimeter axis for all cases it's important to have 5 millimeter capsular axis if you do 4 millimeter or less than that you are stuck with that small axis curse so don't get into those trouble hydro dissection is very important you can see the position of the cannula is most important at the equator and then push the fluid with some force and you can see the wave passing to the other side tap on the other side so that you get a very easy rotation of the nucleus it's a soft cataract when I did hydro dissection I also sense that it's not very soft so it's grade 1 so I didn't want to do phaco aspiration here but decided to do the trench divide technique a deep trench is must right at the center of the nucleus many times I saw my trainees do a trench but which is not at the center and usually if it is not in the center you may have little trouble in dividing the nucleus now I'm trying to do a chop here and I'm using constellation phaco if you see on the left side of the screen the IOP is there so I started with 50 centimeters of water IOP and now for chop I'm using 70 centimeters and here instead of venturi mode I'm using the flow mode which is the peristaltic mode of the constellation now for quadrant I have raised the intraocular pressure to 100 so that I have very stable chamber of course you can reduce the IOP to say 60 or 70 but then you have to reduce the vacuums to say 200 to 250 so right now I am using probably 330 vacuum with 40 flow rate which makes the things much faster and with 100 IOP the anterior chamber remains stable and with minimal phaco you might have noticed that I have used the balance tip here but you can very efficiently do the cataract removal and constellation has very useful phaco system there it's, it provides very stable anterior chamber and uh, very safe removal of the cataract so for those uh, who use constellation for retina they can use the same for doing the phaco as well it's very very efficient and safe now I am doing cortex aspiration now it's a vacuum mode so that's why you cannot see the flow rate there so it's uh, basically venturi mode which I am using here so you have option of uh, using either venturi or flow based on the steps based on the the speed at which you want to proceed with the things intraocularly now but one is one of the things which I notice on constellation when because it's a forced infusion system you tend to have little bit more chances of uh, iris prolapse when you take out the probe so what I generally do in these is that I stop the irrigation before I come out now just watch the timing on the video here it's around 5 minutes and then when I go for the IL incision it's almost 10 plus minutes so what happened in those 5 minutes can you guess why I was waiting that long you can guess 1 2 3 probably I waited for something I don't know but uh, you could see that I finished my case by 12th minute so what happened let's go back and start from where we left at the end of 5 minutes there I am injecting the IOL here and there it goes that's what happened you must have noticed that the trailing haptic is cut obviously there was some issue while loading the cartridge in this uh, this is a butterfly type of cartridge which was used and uh, I want you to see my video on how to use the butterfly cartridge so that the IOL doesn't get damaged during the insertion nowadays my OT assistants are loading the IOL 
so that uh, I can finish the surgery quickly and it has been very very good so far but of course occasionally there might be some issues in loading the IOL so you have to be careful as you load and what I am going to do here is just uh, take out this IOL from the anterior chamber I have already placed it in the anterior chamber use heavy dispersive agent Hylucoat both on anterior and posterior side of the IOL so I protect the posterior capsule as well as endothelium now I am trying to use a forceps to hold this IOL but the patient has very prominent eyebrows and that's why I am not getting a good hold now I am going to use Packer Chang IOL cutting scissors these are cross action scissors so you can see the leak from the insane is very very minimal but as you notice that I am not able to hold the IOL properly with this forceps because the handle is getting obstructed by the prominent eyebrows so I shifted to Sinski here so I will provide the counter traction using Sinski and the goal is to cut around 70% of the IOL right at the middle I don't want to cut it all through and that's not needed as you will see once that is done again I replenish the dispersive OVD and it is important that we hold the right side of the cut optic so that the haptic is easy to come out from the wound and first I pulled it out with micro forceps there and you can see always my left hand Sinski is protecting the endothelium and I don't have good grip with that micro forceps anymore so I use limbs to pull out one part of the optic and then just rotate the IOL so the second part also goes inside the incision and watch the Sinski protecting the endothelium I think that is the most important thing when you remove the IOL and you will find that uh, when you see the case post operatively you, you will not find any signs of IOL removal whatsoever the cornea will be shining there will not be any endothelial damage and uh, you can easily then place uh, the replacement IOL because we have a high volume center generally we keep all the IOLs uh, with a backup IOL so patient is not uh, suffered because of that and as I noticed that there was some iris prolapse till the end and it can be easily managed by good hydration of the incision so for more videos do subscribe and write your comments about this technique thank you